In this video, we are going to see and learn about the secret behind this amazing milk magic trick involving a glass filled with milk with holes and a baseless vessel. This amazing magic trick was performed by the famous magician Helen Kovlin. Let's first see what happens in this magic trick. In this magic, magician Helen first shows everyone a glass that appears to be completely normal. Then, she places that glass in a wooden box made of wood. The front and back lids of the box are open so that everyone can see what Helen is about to do. Now, magician Helen takes milk from a steel mug placed nearby and pours it into the glass, filling it halfway. Then, Helen pauses and says that she will show this trick later. I might actually save that one for last. After that, Helen goes towards another podium where a large steel jug and a small bucket are placed. Helen pours the milk from the bucket into the jug and then pours it back into the bucket. But when Helen rotates the jug, everyone is amazed because the jug has no base. And if it was hollow, how did the milk stay inside? Then Helen returns to her first trick and fills the glass with milk up to the top from the mug. Now, Helen closes the wooden box's front and back flaps and takes a steel rod, inserting it through the hole in the wooden flap, going through the glass filled with milk. She does this without causing any damage to the glass or spilling a single drop of milk. This is also shown from an overhead angle where you can see the glass filled with milk in the middle and the rod passing through it. When Helen takes out the steel rod and opens the flap, everyone is astonished because the glass is still intact as it was before. Helen confirms this by picking up the glass and drinking the milk from it, proving that everything is real. But how? How did the steel rod pass through the glass without any harm? And how did the milk not spill? Now, before revealing the secret behind this magic, if you enjoyed this amazing magic trick by Helen Coughlin, please make sure to like this video. Now, let's learn the secret behind this magic. Two tricks were performed here, so let's first focus on the trick where Helen pours milk into the big jug and then empties it. But when she rotates the jug, the jug has no base. And if it was hollow, how did the milk stay inside? In reality, the entire magic lies in the jug. If you observe carefully, when Helen pours the milk into the jug, you can see some movement happening inside as the milk goes inside. This movement was unintentionally revealed by Helen, but caught by the camera. The jug is hollow from the top and bottom, but inside the jug, there is a flap that moves to create enough space for the milk as it enters the jug. After that, Helen empties the jug, and when she shows the jug to the audience, she cleverly hides the flap inside the jug using her hand so it doesn't appear to anyone. Now, let's move on to the trick where Helen takes a steel rod and passes it through a glass filled with milk, and when she takes the rod out, the glass remains intact. Let's understand the details of this trick step by step. Firstly, the glass that Helen shows to everyone actually has two pre-made holes in it, which you can observe here. While showing the glass to the audience, Helen cleverly tries to hide these two holes. Additionally, you can see a small cut at the base of this glass, and we'll explain the purpose of this cut later in the video. Helen then places the glass in a wooden box. The sticker is facing the front, and the two holes are currently on the opposite side so that the holes are not visible to anyone. Now Helen pours milk into the glass, and the entire trick is based on this milk. Actually, it's not milk, but RTV silicon, which is present in one compartment of this mug. The other compartment contains hot milk. RTV silicon starts to vulcanize and harden like jelly when it comes in contact with room temperature. Initially, because the ERTV silicon is near the hot milk, it remains in a liquid form, and the magician Helen pours this liquid RTV silicon into the glass, making it appear as though she is pouring milk into the glass. The important thing to notice is that Helen doesn't fill the glass completely. She only fills it up to the level of the hole. 
and then says she will perform this trick later. In reality, by saying this, she allows some time for the ERTV silicon already in the glass to solidify to some extent. After finishing her second trick and coming back to this one again, Helen fills the glass to the top with real milk stored in the other compartment of the mug. Then Helen closes the wooden flaps from both sides and seals the box. Now, the interesting part is that Helen is going to insert the rod through this hole, but the hole in the glass is currently on the opposite sides. To align the holes in the glass with this hole, Helen rotates the wooden base using a screw at the back. Yes, the wooden base can rotate, which is why there was a cut at the bottom of the glass so that when Helen rotate the base from the outside, the glass also rotates and aligns with this hole. Now, Helen pulls out a steel rod. In reality, this steel rod was attached to the back of the box with a screw. When Helen pulls the rod towards the outside, the screw also rotate with it. This aligns the holes of the glass and the box in a straight line. You can see here the hole in front of the rod that Helen is concealing very discreetly. Also the portion in front of the rod is like a hollow pipe. If you pay attention while inserting the rod into the box, Helen is twisting and pushing it forward and because the front part of the rod is hollow like a pipe, the hardened RTV silicon gets cut by the rod and rod comes out through the hole on the other side of the glass. And if you observe the flap in the beginning, the hole you see is not actually a hole, but a piece of steel, which has been colored black from the inside to match Helen's dress, giving the illusion of a hole from where Helen's black clothes appear. And when steel rod cuts through silicon and passes through the other side of the glass, the cut silicon moves inside hollow rod before emerging from the other side of hole. Prior to exiting, the hollow rod attach itself with steel piece, effectively sealing it again from the front. This way, Helen successfully completes her trick, and in the end, she takes out the rod, opens the box, and shows everyone the intact glass. And because there is real milk on top of the glass, she drinks it to demonstrate that it's real, leaving everyone amazed. So, this is how Helen Kovlin fools everyone with her incredible magic trick. But now you also know the secret behind this magic, we hope you enjoyed the video. We work hard to bring you such amazing videos, so please like this video. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and press the bell icon to receive more incredible videos.